Greetings and welcome to the beautiful Hanson Hall of Science and Innovation on the beautiful campus of Augustana College. My name is Kathleen Bettler and I am joined by my colleague Sam Schlapp and we are part of the advancement team here at Augie. We are very excited to be here and tell you about an exciting week we have coming up. A week long to keep Augie strong. It's very exciting. Kathleen, it's great to be here with you. We don't get to see each other in person very much these days. Uh, we've been blessed to come back on campus today. It is summer in the Quad Cities. I think it's summer around the Midwest, and that's uh, a big welcome after a little cool spring. But we're really excited today to not talk to you about the weather, but to talk to you a bit more about a week long to keep Augie strong. We can see on the screens that about 500 of you, which is halfway toward our $1,000 donor goal, have already given to the Gerber Challenge. The Gerber Challenge is an exciting thing for Augustana in this troubling time. Murray and Cindy Gerber stepped up with a million dollar challenge gift, and many of you have answered that challenge. As we can see, about more than $500,000 already uh, coming in for that goal. Now, we do have a big thing to tell you about this week, and Kathleen is very excited because she's an accessory hound. Uh, I think that's the, the proper term. Uh, we are going to be giving Augie face masks to people who give $25 or $50, we'll talk about that, to the Gerber Challenge. And now, there's a bit of a breakdown here that you need to understand. If you get $50 to the Gerber Challenge through the Augustana Strong Campaign, you, you are giving an Augustana face mask to an Augie student, and in return, you will receive an Augustana face mask. So it's a little give one, get one. If you graduated in the last decade, so between 2010 and 2020, that is only a $25 gift to get the Augie face mask and to give one to an Augie student. Pretty cool. We're waiting for ours. You're not going to want to miss out. It's You're the accessory to have. It's, it's the go-to accessory. It's going into fall. And, uh, a great conversation piece if you're at the grocery store, Walgreens, Costco. Yeah. Got your Augie face mask on. You can tell them where you went to college. All the great things that Augie has to offer. So we're really excited about this. We're excited to share with you some stories during the mornings in the next uh, seven days about what we're doing in Augustana and how we're preparing to keep Augustana strong in the fall and prepare for students to return. And I can't think of a better person to kick it off than our good friend and president of Augustana College, Steve Ball. Steve. I want to thank the entire Augustana community, students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends for keeping Augustana strong during these difficult times in our nation's history and challenging times at Augustana. Thought I'd spend a minute or two to tell you what we're doing to keep our campus strong. The biggest piece of it is to reopen campus to live instruction in early September. Now, when we reopen campus, we will do it in accordance with CDC guidelines. Those guidelines recently came out and we'll see more social distancing on our campus. We may be wearing masks, but as I look at these guidelines, we are in a perfect location to continue our live instruction. Why? Because the CDC requires small classrooms. That is what we are so good at at Augustana College. It requires us to spread out a little bit that we can do on this 150 acre campus. But we need your help to keep us strong. Parents are finding themselves under considerable economic pressure. Students are facing considerable uncertainty about finances. So we thank you for keeping Augustana College strong. I thank our students for our, their adaptability. I thank our faculty and staff for converting to an Augustana that will be a little different next fall, but will be a strong Augustana nonetheless. And I thank you for all the ways you support Augustana College. Thank you for that update, Steve. It's great to know that we have such strong leadership here at the college during this trying time. It really is, it really is. We are excited this week to bring you some voices from Augustana, I would say stars, if you will, some little celebrity visits. And we're uh, in an appropriate setting today. We're in the addition to the Hanson Hall of Science, which was completed uh, last year. So it's our first year having classes in the, in the building and it's a wonderful space. So this afternoon, you're not gonna, win, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Dr. Daraway Benghidi from Biology and Public Health will join us at 4 o'clock Central Time to talk all things about everything that she knows about, which is a little bit more than what we know about <laughs> really anything. So uh, join us at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, same place, same channel, 
tune in. It's going to be great. Uh, and keep on, keep those gifts coming in. We've, we've surpassed the 50% uh, mark towards uh, 500. Kathleen's got her pom poms because that's what she has. And we're excited. My accessory. That's right. But before we go, we'd be remiss if we didn't say a huge congratulations to the Augustana class of 2020. They were conferred their degrees on Saturday via a virtual ceremony, and we are cheersing you this morning, socially distanced, of course. Uh, cheers to the Augustana class of 2020. We look forward to everything that you're, you're going to do for the world and look forward to seeing that impact. So join us again this afternoon at 4 o'clock. We'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers.